today i will discuss about eighth class physical science third, third chapter matter around us in this chapter to be covered the 12 topics is there how many topics 12 topics is there so first topic is matter students already in previous classes matter you know for example in our universe we use any material is called a matter for example in this classroom chalk piece duster blackboard and pen books these are also matter you know so the matter definition is the matter is made up of tiny particles tiny particles and matter is in a particles occupies the space space and it has a mass it is very very important the matter definition is matter made up of tiny particles and occupies the space it has a mass in our universe in our daily life you, we, we use any material it is called a matter and uh, it, it has a any you take any substance you occupies the space it has a mass so it is called a matter example of chalk piece duster books and in our uh, in our house uh, all materials we will call uh, matter okay students clear so all mat all matters are not uh, not equal states okay for example water water is a matter and uh, air is a matter and uh, chalk is a matter but stages are a different okay student stages are a different in this chapter the different stages of the matter how many types the states of matter is a second topic is states of matter states of matter how many types states of matter three types already you know what are they solid liquid and third one is a gases okay solid liquid and gases it is a called as states of matter in our using the materials in solid state and liquid state and gas state what is the definition of solid what is the definition of liquid what is the gases of liquid okay dear students second topic is a states of matter it is a three types already i discussed so first one is a solid in the solid item it is a the particles is very tightly packed in this particle solids are very tightly packed in only no pass each other it is a particle no move it is a pass each other it is shaped is a fixed shape it is a fixed shape okay students solids are a the particles is tightly packed and there is no movement and a fixed shape it is uh, for example for example chalk piece and uh, such books and any any object we call a solid it is there next one is liquid liquid is a it is a flow of easily in particles is a flow of easily and it vibrate vibrate each other it is a flow of particles easily and particles is a no regular pattern it is particles is a no regular pattern it is a like 
that's the situation. Okay, so today it is uh, it is uh, not um, fix, uh, fix, no fixed shape. It is dependent on the baker of the container. You take a baker of the water. It it is called a dependent on the shape of the liquid. And fourth one is a gaseous. Gaseous. Third one is a gaseous. Third one is a gaseous. Gases is very freely particles. It is separated. It is no regular pattern. And uh, the air is spread the surrounding. Air is spread the surrounding. So particles is very freely fast movement. Okay, student. So it is a. So we discuss about air, solid, liquid, and gas. Liquid example of milk, water, and oil, and uh, gas is example of air. Okay, student. It is called a state of matter. Students. Third topic is properties of states of matter. How many properties of states of matter? Shape, volume, compressibility, and diffusion. Well, first of all, in the solid and liquid in gases, what is the shape? Okay, student. First of all, you take a chalk piece and uh, and uh, Put the bench. Any change of shape in chalk piece, there is no shape because of it. This particles is very tightly packed, so it is no change of shape. So it is called a fixed shape. Solid cell fixed shape. Definite shape. Okay, student clear. And second one is a liquid. What is the shape of liquids? It is a the glass of water is there. Okay. What is the shape of water? It is a what is the shape of beaker? It is a sphere. Okay, student. Water is also the shape of sphere shape. So in the liquid shape, the the dependence of the containers, the different different types of containers you take. Water is a the shape of containers. So there is no fixed shape. No fixed shape. Dependence on the beakers and containers. Okay, students. And third one is a gases. What is the shape of gases? Gases is a, the particles is very freely and separated spread the surrounding so it is a neither have a shape nor they have a neither have a shape nor a value okay student so it is a shape of solids liquids gases first of all shape is a solid fixed shape and no fixed shape of the dependent no fixed shape in liquids dependence on the beaker and gases neither have a shape nor of value okay student next one is a value of solids in a value what is the value of a solid it is a fixed value okay you know because of a it is a tightly packed particles so it is a fixed value there is no Change fixed value and next liquids. Liquids there is no value because there is a value because of it is a tank with CNG and LPG gases. LPG gases, CNG and LPG gases. It is stored in a tanks. Okay, so it is a the tank uh, the tank in a bulk of gases stored in a CNG tanks and also LPG. CNG means 
compressed natural gas and LPG means liquid petroleum gas. So it is a fixed value and liquids is a no mm, fixed value. Okay, students. It is a gas which is not have a value. Neither have shape nor have a value. Next one is a compressibility. Um, in solids, what is the compressibility? How to prove that it is a we take a chalk piece, it is the press the chalk piece. What is the object that there is no change? Because of it is the definition of solid. Tightly packed particles, there is no change. So it is a no compressibility. No compressibility. And liquids. Liquid have a compressibility. Because of it is a it is a it is a fister. It what is there? It is compressibility. Slightly compressibility. Okay. In, in this liquid, so slightly compressibility there. And third one is gases. Gases is a high compressibility. High compressibility. Because it is a, there is no water. In the water it is slowly. It is slowly move. And it is, there is no water in the air. It is very tightly press the piston. Okay. So it is highly compressibility in a gas. Observe student, next one is a, in the compressibility, there is no solid, solids in there is no compressibility, in liquids is slightly there and gas is highly compressibility. And the diffusion, third one is a, fourth one is a diffusion. Diffusion in solids, it liquids to gases. Okay, it is liquids to solids to Gas, solids to liquids in this solids and uh, liquids you take how to do the liquids in a uh, diffusion you take a glass of water and uh, you take a potassium permanganate in putting a water what do you observe the spread the color of the water which color? It is a pink color. It is diffused in the liquids. It is a fast diffusion in liquid. Diffusion. Next one. Gases. Next one is a gases. What about diffusion of in a gases? In the heavy in gases in diffusion, you take a insensitive sticks, it is like the sticks. What do you observe? The air is spread the roof and surroundings. Okay. In gases, very fastly spread the uh, this is air. Okay. So, it is a gases highly speed, very highly speed of roof, spread the air. A. So, high diffusion in a gases. So, high diffusion in a gases. Because of a this activity. Okay. So, students clear? In this uh, properties of a states of matter. In solids, in liquids and in gases. First of all, the shape of solids. Fixed shape, fixed vacuum, no compressibility. It is a solid to liquid in diffusion. And uh, another one is a liquid. There is no fixed shape depending on the baker. And the gases also neither have shape nor a value, fixed value. And compressibility in uh, 
liquid fuels likely there with the high compressibility in gases and uh, solids to liquid in solid uh, in a diffusion liquids is a fast diffusion in uh, liquids and gases are highly very highly diffusion in uh, gases understand student that is a properties of states of matter okay clear next one student next topic lab activity diffusion of two gases you find the the speed of diffusion of two gases hcl and nh3 ammonia hydrochloric acid we take a hcl solution and nh3 solution we we uh, calculate the, the speed of the diffusion of two gases first of all you take a material long narrow glass tube glass tube hcl solution and h3 solution and a piece of cotton piece of cotton it is rubber cards rubber cards we use the material glass tube HCl solution and H3 solution, <coughs> piece of cotton and the rubber card. Procedure is a first of all you take a glass tube and uh, and HCl and H3. First glass tube you take. is 
call a melting. Have you understood? Solid change into gas. Solid phase change into gas. It is called a liquid. Liquid change into gas. It is called a evaporation. Evaporation. Okay. How to change the different different states? Give me example. Ice cubes. Ice cubes. It change into water. It change into vapor. It give you temperature. It is any any temperature. Okay, ice cubes give you temperature. It change into a water. It is called a melting. Water change in any temperature in you. It is called a vapor. It is a evaporation. Vapor directly change in solid. Solid directly change in vapor. It is a sublimentation. Sublimentation. Vapor change into water. Vapor change into water. It is called a condensation. Condensation. Yes, student. In this one substance, ice cube change into water, water change into vapor. So it is a melting, evaporation, sublimentation, condensation, fusion. Is another name is a fusion. This melting is another name is a fusion. Okay, student. Clear. And uh, directly vapor change into water. Example: copper. It is a sublimentation. Sublimentation. Okay, students. It is a matter change into states. Example of ice cubes, copper, and uh, next example is candy. It is also example of solid to liquid, liquid to gas. Okay, student. So clear. Matter change it is a state. Solid to liquid, liquid to gas, gas gas to liquid, liquid to solid. In this uh, matter change it is a state. Okay, student. Okay, student. How small are the particles of a matter? Already I told. What is the matter? Matter made up of a tiny particles. Matter made up of a tiny particles. So, how to prove that? Uh, that how to prove that tiny particles? Let us do the some activity. Okay, students. Take a glass of water and fill the potassium carbonate crystal. What is color change? It is a light violet color. Potassium carbonate KMN four crystal you take and. Uh, Water, light violet color is there. Light violet color. Light violet color. The one beaker. You take a, another beaker, 90 ml of water. You take and uh, take of the 10 l, 10 ml of water in the this beaker. Okay, student. Understand? And uh, the color is uh, small light change. Small change in uh, this light violet color. Next, you take another beaker. Again, you take hundred and ninety ml of water. You take in this. Uh, take out the ten ml of water. The color is change very small. Very small change. Very small change. Again, this ninety uh, ml of water and ten ml of water is take out and uh, color is very light, very very light color change. What do you observe that uh, uh, activity? In this activity, you conclude that the solids and liquids, solids 
base and liquids made up of a tiny particles made up of a tiny particles in this water the particles is there it is color is change this color is very change this color is very very change so solids are liquids are it is made up of a tiny particle in this small are the particles of a matter to prove that okay understand student okay in this is activity stress there is just a space between the particles okay student how to prove that there is just a space between particles let us do the an activity we take a glass of water students take a glass of water and uh, add some salt uh, first of all you take a glass of water mark the glass of water how much water you take okay student next you take uh, small amount of uh, salt you take a small amount of uh, salt stir the salt after you add the salt observe that uh, that uh, water level what do you observe there is no change there is no change of water mark so because why because there is no change of food, water mark you add salt there is no change because of in this water particles there is just a space there is just a space so the salt is fill the salt salt particles in the between the space is just the salt particles so there is no change of mark the water understand student so the particles is there is just space between a particle because of a the liquids is a flow of particles is very move fastly move fastly and the second property is just space just space understand student you conclude that this act, that activity the water molecules in the the space is a exist so there is a no change of water level okay understand wow force attraction between the particles of the matter in this particle the force of the attraction in this particles how will the prove that for example you will take a tap the uh, tap along the water is continuously your hand break of the water what do you observe there is no break permanently okay student observe that uh, your uh, in our uh, houses uh, you observe the taps flow of the water open your tap the flow of the water you hand put in the hand in break of the water what do you observe there is no break out the permanently okay again you take a iron nails is there any break the iron nails there is no break because of the particles is very tightly tightly and you take a chalk piece it is break break or not it is easily break because of a in this particle is also tightly packed because of a chalk piece is easily break down what do you observe that situation it is a it is we conclude that what it the force attracts in the particles the force of attraction the particles because all all substance is a force of some force of attraction okay students but uh, different different material different type of material different type of material dependence on the particles is easily break out it is not break out okay the dependence on the material you take a material the 
any substance you take the substance of some force in this particles the type of force of attraction in this situation okay student so we dependence on the different types of materials okay we student last topic is effect of surface area humidity wind speed what is the first of all surface area the evaporation what is the evaporation liquid change the liquid space change into liquid phase change into gas with any temperature with any temperature it is called a evaporation liquid phase change to gas with any temperature it is called a evaporation the water molecules on the surface area so you take a as a water the escape of the escaping of the water molecules on the surface area it is the decreasing of the water okay student the evaporation affecting of the surface area you take a saucer and one beaker fill the water in the saucer fill the water in the beaker which faster than the this two uh, materials evaporation is which is the fast it is the saucer is very fast evaporate because of a the large surface area is there the water molecules is very fastly escaping so evaporation increasing evaporation is increasing and surface surface area also increase the effect of evaporation of surface area okay understand next one is a humidity what is the humidity the amount of water vapor is present in the air is called a humidity okay in the in the in surrounding air is very large okay so amount of air is very large the humidity decrease the humidity decrease evaporation is also increase because dry uh, wet class okay in uh, in uh, winter days wet class uh, it is a example of humidity what about wind speed wind speed depends on the uh, in the weather okay the amount of water uh, air is a very large it is a wind speed is very increasing and evaporation is also increase understood student effect of evaporation affecting of the, the evaporation on a surface area humidity and a wind speed evaporation increase then the surface area also increase evaporation is decreasing humidity is also increase and the evaporation is increasing and the wind speed is also increase okay student you conclude that it is a effect of surface area humidity wind speed it is over in this chapter matter around as is a over okay student very thank you very much you give me great opportunity in uh, our uh, superiorities thank you thank you very much in this lesson we learn about uh, first of all you learn uh, keywords keywords is very important and learn and uh, write the five times in every keyword okay student and uh, all activities is there in the lesson every activity we should learn the activities and write the notes and uh, we we are uh, in uh, whatsapp groups send the notes you write okay student ne uh, next uh, every every line by line you read the test book and uh, in after question and answers we learn okay thank you very much student